have you. Come in. Okay. I need you to sit down. I'll be right there. Okay. Now then, I have something very special can today. And I have a lot of stuff in this amazing today, but, but it's going to have to do because I have many things canned. Now, what we're going to do is the reason why I have stuffed animals is because we are going to do something very fun. Now, I'm going to get, give you your stuffed animal. You're going to get to pick your stuffed animal. And we're going to do stuffed animal paragraph today. And the reason is because these stuffed animals really want to be excused and released and released. So, that's what we're going to do for today. Now, I have a bunch of stuffed animals. I have a monkey. I have a frog. I have Raggedy Ann. I have Snoopy. I have Greggy the Bell. I have Chimpany Cricket. Ch Chimpany Cricket. I have Bismuth Cookie. I have Puppet Strawberry Celery Stock. And what else do I have? I have a fish, Isaac. I have a frog named George. I have Goofy without an arm or without the eel. And I have Mo. So I have Mo stuffed animals because I can tell none of you are sick. You're all here today. This is, um, this is Valentino. This is, um, this is the little puppet thing. This is a... Thing. I don't know what that is. This is a monkey, a shark monkey. This is a prayer bell. I don't know where the button is. All right. See there? It's a prayer bell. Okay, do you hear that? That's a prayer bill. And this is a little mouse. His name is, uh, um, Cuddles. Very small. And these are all the stuffed animals that we're going to have today. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to read to you a book about how these stuffed animals got made. And then, well, I'm going to show you my technique on the whiteboard. Okay. Let me show you. The book is called Stuffed Animal Creating by Jim Dodge. In 1988, they went to the cotton fields. In most fields, in most land entrance, they found, <coughs> they found cotton bulbs and they found cotton in hills and yellow. And what did they decide to make out of all those things? Well, it took a long time for them so they made stuffed animals, and what they did was they made them so that no one told that it was stuffed animals. Once they started, they had a long time to wait, and because they had a long time to wait was because it took an hour and a half to make stuffed animals, and because of that, they had to deal with the lines. 
I'm going to go to the white bone now. Okay. Now, why do you come over to the white bone? Now, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to do the stuffed animals. So I brought stuffed animals over. Okay? Stop, drop, and roll. The stuffed animals. Alright. So I have stuffed animals. Right there. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how we're going to do this. So, I would usually start out with the symptoms. This animal is, and then I put a blank, it's just in case you make up, because blank, And then Y neck. Okay, see how that goes. So, <coughs> it's a very simple activity, Oompa Loompas. And the reason we're doing this is because it's a hickory attention. Okay. And then, after you do that, you're going to write another line. And then write how you're going to make your own version like that. Okay? It's a very simple activity. Now, we'll, uh, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a stuffed animal. Let's do random stuffed animal. This is Valentino the Valentine Bill. So, remember, it's going to say this animal is... And then I'm going to write Valentino the bill because he is cute. And that's your stoning sentence. Okay? Why? I like him. Oh, I love him. Well, you can never have a cross because that's just too strong. I like him. Okay. Now, you can do anything with this. And the reason I wrote that was because I thought it would be nice. Even though I have to be descriptive, but I, I, I decided since this is all I have room for on the whiteboard, I wrote that out. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to be persuaded to people. And you're going to pick a partner. So, let's say, Pipson, you're with me, so why don't you come up here. And, I pick out a stuffed animal. Raggedy Ann. And, I, and, and Pipson picks out a bill. And, arguing is expected in this thing. But don't make it too drastic. So you're going to argue about what stuffed animal because you only have so much room that you can do whatever you find English in. So, what if I want to do Raggedy Ann? <coughs> he wants to do Valentino. And what you're going to do is you're going to get a very 
big piece of paper. And you're going to want two posts, but make your lines close to each other. Because you want to have room for your other posting to put it down. Okay? And then you're going to write your stuffed animal. So you're going to write, like I will write here, this animal is a whatever. So I would write down a regular ant because, and then I'll write, she is cute. We well, don't need to write that, but that, but that's what I choose to write. Why? And then I like him. Now, I, I'm just saying what I wrote. If you, you don't need to do this. There is no choice. Um, but, uh, there is no choice. I knew. Now, there is no choice. You can do whatever you want. There is a lot of choices. But there is no choice to making your thinking. There has to be this animal is. I don't mind if you improvise, but that's our main sentence. And sometimes when you heal, you don't get what you need, what you want, okay? Now, what we're going to do is, I'm going to give you some paper. And you're going to write very neatly, this animal is. And then, and then write a very neat line. Now that, because if your writing is so big that you can't even fit anything, I would write and get a big paper and write a lot of lines, but they need to be smart. And then you'll do this very neatly. If it's not neat, you wouldn't have to redo it. Oh, if it is not me, you're going to have to stay in for recess today when we come later for lunch. Okay? Now, this is what you're going to do. Okay? So after you're done with your uh, animal paragraph, you're going to turn it into me. And next time you come, we will have a presentation. Okay? Okay, keep that in mind. Alright, so let's... What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the people choices. So, I'm going to give you and your partner a big paper. Okay? I'm going to give you and your partner a big paper. So, I'm going to start with partnering... Partnering... Potent in a ring, I can't say clearly. Potent in a ring, you up. So, I'm going to have Pepsi and L.A. Pepsi and L.A. Come up here, please. So, you're going to grab two pieces of paper. So, I'm going to give you a piece of paper. And I'm going to give you a piece of paper, and there's pencils right there. So get one for your partner. Now, you may need to be patient because your partner may want to be, be nervous and forget what that partner needs to write. But I make sure that if anyone is not here and I just did it, they get a chance. So here is two papers. And you can go find somewhere to sit. Okay, now I'll give you a pencil. Okay? Here's a, here's a pencil, okay? So you find somewhere to sit. Alright! I'm going to have Ugly Da and Gringle. Chris. Ugly Da and Chris. So, Ugly Da, what a nice name, Ugly Da, you're going to get a paper, and, 
the fold. You're going to get a table too. And will you miss me? Agri da. Okay. Agri da would miss me. I love saying that name. Uh, okay. So you would have that, then I'm going to give you a pencil. And every now and then I'll come back and check on you. So here is, I'll give you a pen since I don't have much variety for two minutes. Here, now. There, okay, next two, um, get in the name. Two next partners. People Jeep and Patent Time. People Jeep and Patent Time, come here. So, I'm going to give you a paper, and patent time, I'm going to give you a paper. Well, that one is a little whippy, but right down here, but right smart and I was that one. Bring your piece of paper and come right to me. So, let me give you a pencil. Alright. Here's, here's a pen. I don't have a pen, so now why didn't you say what I feel? Alright, next two partners. Grease and Jeeps. Oh, they have lobby names. Grease and Jeeps. I'm doing the extra word. I know you're new here. Listening to a 
Christmas, uh, I'm planning to go do a Christmas special tonight. I'm at 7.30 uh, this evening. And uh, it's a very late concert. This, this is 7 o'clock one. And we're planning to go there today. When I'm very happy you did that because I really like to go to concerts and see how nice they are, how lovely they are, and just how experienced you can do those. It's really nice, and I saw some really good houses last night. I saw a lot of green, a lot of blue, a lot of red, a lot of all star things, and I really enjoy it. It's very nice pleasure to do that. It is a nice pleasure because it's always happening to usually finding people know that you could be so nice. I'm really glad you have that. Yeah, I just have my opportunity to cast many things, many generations. Okay, let me go check. How is everything going? Okay, the so one next to me. Okay, so remember, you might need me now. And since I read that paper, you might really need me. You're doing a good job. Copy exactly what I feel. Okay, so I'm really happy that you're so honest to my feelings and Joyce and G's. Many things I can say for sure. Yeah. Holiday season in several, several industrial products have many feelings of joy and serenity. Yes, I'm full of glad because that really helps me a lot. I like it. Good feeling. Alright, everybody! I see many good papers. Alright? Alright, go pick your stuff in. So, let me go ahead some of you. Now, my stuffed animal is a the Valentino And then, why? Like, because he is fun and he is my friend. Very nice. Alright, now what are you going to write? Okay, so you wrote me, my animal is a hippopotamus because they're kind and considerate. Okay, and then write why? Because they don't jump so stoning when you're trying to deal with medical occasions. Very descriptive and very sincere. Okay, so, you two are done. So if you want, there were some books over there, okay? Alright, so you are done. Alright, so what about you? You wrote me, my animal is Snoopy. Because he is my favorite Charlie Brown character. And then put why? Because he's so fun and so fast and so magical. Very nice, but I would erase the fast. Alright. Okay, now, you're done. What did you say? My animal is a monkey because monkeys make nice sounds. And then put why? Because I like the sound of moaning. Alright. That's nice now. You two are done. Alright, everybody! Now, next time when you come...
um, we will put in these. Okay? And I, I think it would be tough because you hold me say with Zoe Tall. Alright? Now, just for time's sake, we need to leave. Okay? I'm so sorry. We find time tomorrow. Okay? Now, why do you need? All right, now, why did we come out the doorway? Okay, so, you have a good day. You have a good day. You have a good day, too, okay? I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Or see you after Christmas, okay? I'll see you later. See you. Okay. I'm in King Cunning. Andre, yeah, you're here. Okay. I'm in King. Really kind to have you here. Okay, so I've got something special planned for you today. We're going to talk about senses. And the reason we're going to talk about senses is because we use senses. And I have a whole bunch of things that are senses in one case. And those are some cranberries over there. Okay? In the fleet section. Now, I'm going to talk to you about different types of senses. And there are several senses. There is smell. There's taste, there's see, and there's feel. We're going to start out with see. Oh, we're going to start out with feel first. So, to make a wonderful echoing, you could use this. And if you put your mouth through this, you can make you. Hello everybody, I am Julia Eskimoor. See you can hear that. Now, another way is to do it through this. Hello. But that's, but that's, but this looks better. Alright, now, or you could do it through a bowl. Hello. And you can do it through many others. Now the next sense is C. C, 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 C. So, you can see on the binoculars, do you not? A lot. So you can see things far away. So, I can see, I can see a kitchen, I can see the wall, I can see a painting on the wall. I and they have a snake in them. That's the next thing. So, binoculars is for seeing. Alright. Now, the next thing is going to be taste. And taste is cranberries. Dried fruit. Okay. Taste. What do they taste like? Cranberries. Okay. Our last sense is smell. You can smell these. Smelly socks. That Mr. Pumpkins worried about smelly socks. So, this is our last sense, smell. Socks. Smell when they're using that and when they're disgusting. Now, those are the senses, and last but not least, feel. And for that, I use the fish tank. Alright? Look at the fish. So you can hear the music of a fish tank. Can you hear that sad music?
that, that's not music. I don't think you can hear that. But it is music. It's playing now. There's no volume tone. So that is that. Now, these are all others. Alright? So what you're going to do is you want to do the same thing that me and my Oompa Loompas talked about. Oh, you and they came. Okay, so, we have many socks. Here are these. Taste cranberries. And we have, hello. I am talking out of a microphone. We have a microphone. Okay? So, here is a table of senses, and I also have that. Alright? Now, what you're going to do is you are going to write the same thing I did with the Oompa Loompas. We wrote about stuffed animals. Alright. Now, what you're going to do is You are going to do this. So what you do is you're going to, draw, you're going to make my senses all. And then what you're going to do is you're going to write a diamond. And you make circles on your diamond. And you're going to put the four senses. Smell. Heal. Taste. See. A lot. And for see, I use binoculars. So, then after you do that, you're going to walk down the hill. Smelly socks. Socks. Smelly socks. Tasty, tasty fruit. Binoculars. Okay, and then for heel hands or wrapping paper. Oh, ah! This is kind of what I was saying. Okay, so, this is your four senses. Now, what you want to do is, next time you come, you are going to do this. I leave it on the boat. Alright? So, next time, when you pull you up, you're going to write four boxes. You are going to write your senses. Nay, see, eat, and taste, and heal. Okay, those are your four senses. And then, you're going to do this for smell. It is, I put smelly socks. For heal. You know what, two separate tables, and your partner's going to get two separate tables. You're going to write heal. I heal out of my ears. And then for see, I see out of blah, blah, blah. And for taste, I can taste cheese 
also bread. So I can taste bread or anything. And I, would, I can taste cranberries. That's next time you come. So next time you get a paper, you write all you need, all you need down. Okay? You write all you need down on that paper. Okay, so, since I am in a rush, everybody, I'm going to go. Okay? Now, we need to go, and I hope to see you be going soon for Christmas. And I have something else. The Christmas concert will be canceled. I'm sorry, but it just will be because... We didn't work on it so much in the, the thesis tonight, and I didn't have everything ready, so I'm terribly sorry that the Christmas feast is canceled, but we have a little Christmas feast. For that, that doesn't mean we can carol or decorate the table or do anything, but that's what we need to do. Okay, have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow and know what you need to do because I'm only explaining it once. Goodbye. And until I see you in the guts again, I'm Julie Eskinville. Move over.